What does that even mean? All right, let's check a plugin right quick. What? Yeah. What? Bruh. No. Point eleven point three. Let's see if Akai fix the freaking bugs. Finally, it's your man's Veracity TT back again. <laughs> so as you know, I was on two point ten in our last episode. This episode, we starting a new series and see if they fix the bugs, starting with Splice. So let's go ahead and hit update here. Cause we about to check it all We finna check everything I wanna see if Splice working If Splice not working it's not a big deal Because a lot of times I don't even like Sample in standalone mode Unless I prep the sample ahead of time Simply because you know When you go in controller mode It has a better algorithm To do the warps and whatnot To the samples So I don't use Splice samples Unless I'm gonna use the sample exactly how it sounds And maybe chop it here and there but I don't plan on pitching it. That's the only time I would use Splice, so it's not a big deal if they didn't fix it yet. All right, let's see what we got. New instruments are available, blah, 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 blah. You can remind me later. I might download them new plugins. <laughs> yeah. So let's go up in the browser. Let's check out some Splices. Is it working? Is it working? Nope. I would have heard it right here. Nope, it ain't working. They did not fix splice. Nope. And when you turn that sync on and off the way that I just did, that's how you fix the browse the sounds while your beat is playing. You have to make sure that auto sync is turned off and then when you browsing through your sounds while your beats are playing, it'll play each, you know, each snare you browsing and you know, previewing or whatnot. Okay, so we got that out the way. Now, let's see if you can browse the files while I beat this plan. Yep. Okay, okay, okay. Don't forget, make sure that sync turned off and then you will hear your stuff browse correctly. If you turn that sync on, it's gonna mess up. So just click the audition button right there. You can see the sync button is deactivated. That's what you gotta turn off, it's right there. And then you'll be able to browse your files correctly. Again, Splice, however, is not working. But as you can see, the drums and everything else here is working. Okay, moving along. We still got the classic bug. You see we are on uh, zero octave. But you can see this is on four and five, so it's you know it's not synced with the octaves correctly. So if you just spin it all the way up, then spin it all the way down, they go right back to zero, it fixes it. So that's what I usually do and continue cooking up. Extra step, but you know, it works. Now I'll click here on preferences. You can see right there, guys, I'm on 2.11.3. So I got some type of error about no internal audio device, so I'm going to go check that out. And you see I don't have none of the new plugins installed yet. So yeah, it's saying no internal audio device, so I'm going to click in here and select it and see what happens. See that? Glitchy. But, but it started doing this when I, um, I select uh, start a new project. And then a new project, um, I got this error. I'm restarting it after I selected that. We'll see what happens next. Okay. What? Bruh. What does that even mean? All right, let's check a plugin right quick. What? Yeah. What?
I got this sitting on the laptop cooler. It's sturdy. Thank you.